90 Day Fiancé, why Juliana said Michael has more power because he has more money. Juliana Custodio and Michael Jessen, season 7 stars on TLC's 90 Day Fiancé, are polar opposites in several ways. Both Juliana and Michael are divorced, but Michael is around 20 years old than Juliana and has two children, Max and Sss, with his ex-wife Sarah. Michael and Juliana also come from very different financial backgrounds. Michael is a wealthy wine entrepreneur from Connecticut, while Juliana is a model from Brazil whose family struggled with money. The couple has been open about the fact that the divorced father of two has helped out Juliana's family somewhat with financial support across their two years together. On the December 8, 90 Day Fiancé episode, Premature Departure, Michael's ex-wife Sarah brought those differences up in a rather uncomfortable way. Sarah, who recently remarried herself, asked Juliana and Michael to consider a prenuptial agreement to protect Michael's assets and the children's inheritance in the case of a divorce. Michael's ex-wife brought up a prenuptial agreement. At the end of premature departure, Michael's ex-wife Sarah visited Michael and Juliana at their new home. It's very weird for me that they're so close. Juliana admitted to 90 Day Fiancé producers. She continued, I understand, I completely understand that they have to be friends. But you know in my heart I still am a little bit jealous, but it's nothing crazy. After an awkward conversation in which Sarah offered to be the officiant at Michael's wedding to Juliana, things got even more uncomfortable. This is sort of an uncomfortable conversation, but I wouldn't be a good mom if I didn't ask, Sarah began looking awkward. The mom of two then asked her ex-husband if he had thought of a prenuptial agreement to ensure that the kid's financial well-being is secure and taken care of. The 90 Day Fiancé stars wrestled with the idea of a prenup. Michael, for his part, was fully on board with his ex-wife's idea of a prenuptial agreement. I do want to have some prenuptial agreement for no other reason than that Max and Sss would have something out of my responsibility to them he told 90 Day Fiancé producers. It is something that's been on my mind, Michael confirmed. He shared that he and Sarah didn't have much when they married, so they never worried about a prenup. But now that he's wealthier than he was before, he explained, he wants to ensure that the kids are protected in the event of a divorce. Juliana looked lost and asked her fiancé what the prenuptial agreement was. She later told TLC producers she'd never heard of one. Michael explained, it's something that we agree on before getting married in the event of a divorce. Juliana's fiancé explained further that he didn't believe a breakup would happen, but he wanted to be prepared for the worst and do right by his kids. I believe 100%, obviously, in our relationship, the 90 Day Fiancé star said. But what happens if there's a divorce? I don't get it, Juliana finally told Sarah and Michael encouraging her fiancé to talk about it with her privately later instead of in a group in the middle of the kitchen. You have to be a little patient, she chided him. Juliana admitted she sometimes felt left out of Michael's family. Juliana confessed that she sometimes feels frustrated by Michael and Sarah's conversations, especially their language barrier. Sometimes when Michael and Sarah talk, I feel a little bit lost because I speak Portuguese, not English. The 90 Day Fiancé star complained. She added, It scares me a little bit because something I don't know what is going on. I don't know if, Michael, cares about my opinion. If he did, explained the 90 Day Fiancé star, he would ensure that she was aware of what was happening. Sarah, meanwhile, said she got what she needed from the conversation. It was important for me to know that the kids will be taken care of, and that's all I care about she told TLC producers. In the preview for next week's episode, it looks like the prenup drama will continue. In the sneak peek, Juliana and Michael head to a mediator to hash out a potential prenup. Crying, Juliana drops a bombshell, even going so far as to tell producers, Michael, has more money, so he has more power.